Taiwan is staging military exercises to show its ability to resist Chinese pressure to accept Beijing's political control over the self-governing island following new rounds of threatening drills from China. The exercises Wednesday off the southeastern county of Hualien follow days of Chinese missile firings and incursions into Taiwan's sea and airspace by ships and planes from the People's Liberation Army, which is the military wing of China's ruling Communist Party. Meanwhile, Taiwan's foreign ministry spokesperson, Juan O oh, said China was using recent visits by U.S. Congress members, including House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, as a pretext for escalating its attempts to intimidate Taiwan into accepting what it calls its terms for peaceful reunification. Xu added that military provocations launched by China are absurd and a barbaric act which also undermine regional stability and interfere with shipping and commercial activities in the Indo-Pacific region. China sees the island as a breakaway province to be annexed by force if necessary and considers visits to Taiwan by foreign officials as recognizing its sovereignty. Alongside its military threats, China imposed visa bans and other sanctions Tuesday on Taiwanese political vigors. China on Wednesday said the retaliation it made for a visit by United States House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to Taiwan was resolute, strong and proportionate. The statement came after U.S. Indo-Pacific coordinator Kurt Campbell said on Friday that China overreacted to Pelosi's visit to Taiwan. He said China used the visit as a pretext to conduct military drills around the island in an attempt to change the status quo. Meanwhile, spokesperson of Chinese Foreign Ministry Wang Wenbin said at a Wednesday briefing that Campbell's comments exposed the U.S. as making lame arguments in a powerful manner against her logic. Pelosi's visit was followed by nearly two weeks of threatening Chinese military exercises that included the firing of missiles over the island and incursions by Navy ships and warplanes across the midline of the Taiwan Strait that has long been a buffer between the sides. The actions were taken as the Chinese government considers Taiwan part of its own territory and objects any official contact between Taiwan and foreign governments.